Hello YouTubers and welcome to a new video of Arepas for Dinner. So in today's video I had the idea to bring you with me to a Czech supermarket. If you've been following my channel for a while you know I do grocery hauls here in the Czech Republic. I show the supermarkets and I show everything I buy but I thought this time to bring you with me to the supermarket and show you how a grocery store looks like here in the Czech Republic. So we are going to be going to Kaufland. Kaufland is a bit bigger than your average grocery shop, but I think it has the most amount of selection of Czech products. So we're going to go there and I'm going to show you around the fruits, vegetables, the products, the pastas, the snacks, the everything. And I'm going to be buying some very cool things that I'm going to try on camera at the end of this video. So stay tuned on until the end for that. I'm as well going to be sharing the final and total price of the shop. So you know more or less how much it costs to shop here and I'm gonna share it in dollars, in euros and in coronas as well. So that's it, let's start with the video. Going grocery shopping in Czech Republic, you have to remember to bring your own bags. I think we're gonna actually start upstairs and then go downstairs. Let's do that. This is the reason why I like to go to the big grocery stores. Look at oh, all these produce. Even have coconuts. Super expensive coconuts, but they do have. <laughs> Grab your fruits. You have to say what type of bag are you using. I'm using a normal bag. And then try to find oranges. It will give you a ticket. You stick it to your bag and that's how much you're gonna pay. Veggies in the Czech Republic tend to be a bit more expensive than elsewhere in Europe. Honestly, this year, Fruits and veggies have seen a uh, rise in price by more than 20%. The bread and the bakeries area is my favorite. As well here, you can have any type of bread that you want. And when I tell you that the bread here is good, it's literally an understa <laughs> understatement. It is so good. Here in the spices hallway, and as you can see, the spices come in small bags instead of in your normal jar for the cookie area i have to be very honest with you i do not like check cookies this is the only check cookie i like this go i never grabbed the first one because i am me i'm very special person so i have to be honest these cookies these are the orange ones i think these ones are the orange one the other ones are the peach ones and the raspberry ones and you have cherry as well they're good these ones are worth it like if you ever come here these cookies they taste very very good love their wafers and one of the things that is uh, similar to a noblea from venezuela would be this and i think i'm gonna give it a try i'm not a fan of like fake chocolate so let's try to go for hazelnut i'm gonna buy a small one and i think i'm gonna give this a try at the end of the video please have some appreciation for the country music in the background taking consideration that this is Prague, czech republic this is hilarious and in the cracker departments, you have this brand called Tuk. Tuk, um, it's not from the Czech Republic, but you can find, as you can tell, all the varieties here. And it's very, very good. It's like the European Ritz. It's incredible. And they have in so many flavors. They have baked and delicious tomato with herbs, which is cool. This Bohemia is, of course, the Czech brand because, you know, this is the Bohemia region. These little sticks. They are amazing. This one specifically, you just eat them by themselves. They're like, they are like something between pretzels and bread. These ones are the pretzel ones. These ones are cheese and these ones are made out of potatoes. In the area of the french fries, the french fries are chips. Um, they also have the Bohemian um, brand, which is my favorite is to be honest. I think the best one, I love all of them. So Czech Republic is a pickle loving country. So of course you can find here every kind of pickle that you can imagine. We are here in the cereals alley and here you have some Kellogg's, but honestly, supermarkets don't carry as much Kellogg's as in other countries, even though here they have Fruit Loops and everything. Usually Nestle is the more normal brand that you can find here. This is a muesli country that by the way is written muesli, more than muesli. And you have so many types of muesli here. 
I'm gonna be buying some for my husband because he's tech, of course, as you already know. Maybe there's no mac and cheese, but there's one mac and cheese that I really enjoy. And it's these four cheeses side pasta. Tuna is very, very expensive in the Czech Republic compared to other places where I live. So to be honest, I do eat it because I love it, but I don't eat it as often as I used to. I love instant things. You can actually find some cool instant things here. I haven't tried some of these ones because usually I love the instant Chinese sauces, but in Czech Republic they tend to be too sweet for my taste. Here you have like instant goulash polevka, that is goulash soup, instant hovier Hobiezi goulash, just in some goulash. And here you have these like sausages with beans, fazoles, globaso. I've tried some of these ones, especially when I used to work in an office and they're actually pretty good. To be honest, I'm always quite impressed on the Asian selection of things that they do have in any supermarket in any given time. So if you like to eat Asian food, they do have a lot of sauces, a lot of spices here. Everything is small besides one thing, sauces. Honestly, they have the biggest sauces presentations that I've seen. I mean, let's come here. This is some mustard and this is not insane. Like people actually have this in their fridges. You can as well buy mustard in these tiny like yogurt yard like presentations, which is pretty cute even bigger ones that look like big yogurts. I always find curious is how inexpensive caviar is here. This is only 40 crowns, 39.90, and it's just so good. I mean, if you don't like caviar, okay, but I do like caviar and usually so expensive and this one is so inexpensive. For any of you that like baking and making desserts, here you have an entire hallway with all the possible ingredients that you might need. Um, all the decorations here, like they already come ready to cur. All the aromas, they have their like vanilla, almond, lemon, sprinkles. The thing is that the vanilla here does not taste like the vanilla in America at all. So my recommendation is to come all the way here to the sugars and, and yeast and all that and grab so mm, vanilla sugar. I think this resembles more to vanilla than actual vanilla and you can just add it to the sugar count that you're putting in your recipe and that will be fine. Or is a problem for every expert, I believe, because they have many types. Look, two, three types, four types, five types, six types. So it's very hard for almost everybody to find what type of flour they have to use. And in general, you have this one should be the one that you use for cakes, the blue one. And then you actually need to put some um, baking powder into it. They are always all-purpose flour. They do not have self-rising flour. Here you have an entire fridge dedicated to cheese pieces. Look at that. This area literally looks like Whole Foods and I'm literally in one of the least expensive supermarkets here in the Czech Republic. So that's great. It means you can find pretty much any cheese you want at any given point in your local store. But anyways, look at that. Also have all these cool things over here that you can order. You have special specialties from fish to olives to peppers. They're very, very good. And they're very, very cool if you're gonna have friends over in your house. And some of these salads, as my husband likes to call them before, and I'm gonna buy one for him now because I know how much he craves for this. Two phrases, I'm sorry for talking with this, but two phrases that you can learn and you can say and they're gonna help you a lot is toye fine, that literally means that's fine, that's enough, and toye shekno. Shekno means that's all, that's everything, that I don't want anything else. Those are two very cool phrases that you can learn when you're coming to the supermarket because you might use them a lot, to be honest. You won't be buying anything here, but look at all the parek and klobasas that they have. Parek is like sausage and klobasa is like chorizo, okay? Exactly as with the cheese, you have your cold cuts, all your meat and bacon and all that good stuff. So of course I'm gonna go ahead and buy some. Well, you have some seasoned meat as well if you wanna use it for barbecue or just because you like seasoned meat. Well, if you're here for the first year and you are completely terrified of talking to a prodobach or prodobachka, you can as well buy any given 
cream or salad or ham or cheese directly in the fridges so you don't have to talk with anyone. I'm just recommending to talk with them because that product tends to be a bit fresher but whatever works for you best. And I was honestly recommended to have one of these desserts that come with the cream on top. So I'm gonna go for the caramel one. People eat so much yogurt here that you have these little paint buckets that are actually filled with yogurt. Like with the ham and cheese, if you do not want to talk with the Prodavach or Prodavachka, you do have an entire fridge full of meat. This one is ready for the barbecue. We always wanted to try it, but we haven't. That comes already seasoned. So that must be very, very good. One day we have to give it a try. We're now going down to the first floor is where you pay. So I think all the beverages are there and as well, everything that is frozen is there. So we're gonna check that out. Hey, you're gonna be laughing at this, guys. Um, yeah, I think people here like their wine. But the most difference you're gonna find here are gonna find that you can actually see liquor, yep. You can buy normal liquor in your supermarket and I'm talking about absolutely everything. Uh, yeah, you can buy absinthe here, 60%. Today I'm just actually looking for sodas that you cannot find pretty much anywhere else. So let's see. Oh, Coca-Cola. Okay, Coca-Cola is like the Czech Coca-Cola, but I honestly don't love it. But when they have these special editions, is when I like it. And you have here a watermelon one. And I think I'm gonna actually go for it. Soon I'm gonna be making a video only on Czech liquors and Czech alcohol. I just wanted to show you guys that here you can buy two little, two liters beer bottles. The most normal size is half a liter. So be careful when buying because even though everything looks like soda, they're not. In fact, this is 2% alcohol. You enjoyed the wine section, didn't you? Well, this is the beer section. I am no kidding. These techs are not kidding about their beer. One of the reasons why I love coming to this supermarket is because they have a lot of McCain fries and I'm absolutely crazy about this brand. It's like, I, do I even buy any other? I don't think so. Pretty much anywhere here, you can decide if you wanna out to check out if you have not that many things or you can do the normal checkout. The only thing that you're gonna encounter at, is that there's no body helping you bag the things that you buy. Okay guys, the weirdest thing happened to me, honestly. And um, I know I'm a little bit paranoid because I'm Venezuelan and bad things happen. This guy approached me right here in the parking lot and he started like talking check to me. I guess he was like begging for money. So I was just like, I don't have anything. So this guy approached me and he started talking check to me and I told him like, uh, I, I was understanding what he was saying. I was just not willing to speak Czech because I, I knew that he was just gonna, you know. So this younger guy came to me and started saying something to him and me like, is he bothering you? And I was like, but he, he was an old man. And the young man was like, is he bothering you? And the young man kind of looked, I'm not gonna say weird, but yeah, a little bit weird. He started saying like, is he bothering you? And I was like, mm, no, no, it's fine. I just don't speak Czech, but I don't know what he wants, but it's fine. And this Czech guy started like trying talking to me and he was like, do you speak Spanish? You look like you speak Spanish, you're from Spain. And I was like, yeah, yeah. But you know, kind of like, I don't like where this is going. Like, why are you even talking to me? So he kind of scored me back to leave the cart there. Kind of like, I'm not gonna allow this like old man to like around you or something. But I, I was not appreciating it neither. Like his help was like zero appreciated. Of course I locked my car immediately. I left my car there holding my bag, holding my phone, you know, making sure that everything was in place without like looking like a complete wacko. But he asked me like, nice to meet you. My name is Daniel or something. I was like, no, sorry, not interested. And he was like, no, I'm just security here. And I was like, anyways, no interested. Kind of like, don't bother me. And I came back to my car. I opened it like the second that I was like in the door. I closed it and I like locked the door again. I'm sorry, I'm Venezuelan. I'm very, like, I don't trust people. You know, it looked like a scheme, kind of like the old man comes, the other one rescues me and takes me away. And I forget to lock my car, you know, the thing. And the old man kind of like steals things from my car. I have no idea how the 
thing work was gonna work or something but it didn't feel all right so i just wanted to share that terrible experience with you guys i wish they would have more security people that actually look like security people and actually have something that says we are security and not just a random guy dressed randomly saying i'm security and i'm like mm, no you're not <sighs> but yeah okay i'm gonna go home so here it is guys for 2623 i'm gonna put down there the conversion I'm gonna put all of these away and I'm just gonna sit and enjoy my three treats and let you know how I like them. Okay, so what are we gonna try first? We're gonna try first the cofola. Uh, I'm excited. Mmm, smells like watermelon. You see, it really looks like Coca Cola. Like for real. It was quite warm, so I had to put it on ice. Usually you don't have a diet version of this, which I prefer diet, but doesn't matter. Cheers. <gasps> it's very good. Tastes a little bit more citric than Coca-Cola with a very strong aroma to watermelon. Mm. And I'm not thirsty. I had water before to make sure it was not out of thirst that I would like it, but mm -mm. Mm -hmm. this is a type of cofola I do like. Second, we're gonna try this caramel dessert. I know it's not exactly the one uh, one of my followers on TikTok recommend, but it's, it's okay. Got it? I think she recommended the chocolate one, but I said it, I don't love chocolate desserts because I'm picky with my chocolate. Mm. Smells very good. Smells like salted caramel, that's how it smells. Hmm. It's okay. Not like, no, like I would buy this because I'm not like a very, I don't love sweet to be honest. I honestly like salty much more. And you know that because you've seen all my videos about trying snacks and everything, I like salty. And it's not as sweet as you would think, like it's much less sweet and the aroma is much more, it's much, I mean, it's like way stronger than the flavor per se. But I can already do all this. Mm. <laughs> that was it for me, enough. <laughs> okay, now let's go for Colonada, Marianske, Lasnye, 1856, Tradichny, Lazenske, Trojranki. Flavor hazelnut. These are wafers. I know they're very similar to like an oblea, but like made in a fab factory. Nutella. It's so good. The texture is delicious because it's like super flaky. It's like very dry, so so it doesn't have like cream inside or anything. But the flavor is honestly like Nutella. It's it's very good. It's very good. I'm just sad I bought this small one because I could have bought bigger. I'm gonna save one for my husband because as I said, I'm not a huge sweet person and I ate <laughs> everything sweet today. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this later. So that was it guys. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe and to give this video a big thumbs up. Also stay tuned because some, one of my followers commented um, that he want, she wanted to see how was it like to date a Czech guy, like how Czech guys are. And I've been putting together the list, so I'm gonna be making the video soon. I as well have a video coming up that is about 10 things that I still don't get used to in the Czech Republic. And as well, soon is my husband's birthday and I probably are gonna vlog that day. Ah, and that was it. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day, okay? Bye.